Did you guys ever see a $60 million house from the inside? Because me neither. I'm gonna stay here for five days now and I'll show you guys around real quick. Just walked out of the garage because the lighting was great. And this is what it looks like from the front. I'm here in Aspen, Colorado. And tomorrow morning, we're gonna go skiing right on the slopes, literally behind the house. It's a huge construction, mainly wood, lots of detailing everywhere. It's just gorgeous. Look at this front door. All solid wood. When I arrived earlier, I came in through here. Not sure if that entrance is now open. Are you doing a video? Doing a video. Yeah. Another garage here. Let's get in through this door first. Of course, there's a no shoe policy which is normal pretty much everywhere in the world, except in the US. So shoes come off. And I'll take you guys to the basement first. Beautiful lamps. Everything is unique. Super high quality. One of two laundry rooms here. One bedroom, closet, bathroom back there. Someone left the radio or TV running. Wooden ping pong table. Bar, kitchen. A chocolate fountain, a cheese, nacho cheese machine. And then you have this basement right here with a fully stocked bar. Pool table, air hockey table, kickers seats a full-blown movie theater more games popcorn machine right here a shirt a jersey signed by who else other than jordan michael jordan and then this leads into like the guest bunk bedrooms i think this is okay that's plumbing this is an elevator and then we have a couple bunk beds here this is my room my bed sharing this space and then another like girls bunk bedroom with another two bathrooms here also the boys bunk bed has two we're sending all of the single guys down here so that the couples can have the full-size rooms upstairs. This is a buffalo hide. So first floor, that's a closet. One bedroom. These bathrooms are huge. Another bedroom with a fireplace and a huge bathroom again. It's crazy the size of all the, all the stuff in here. And then, what is this? Elevator, not a laundry room. This is the door to the garage. This is the entrance we came in and into the living room.
Everything is super detailed, made with solid wood. The king's chair. Lots of merchandise for us. Flasks, pins, hoodies, your keychains. And then of course, more bedrooms. The house sleeps 32 people or 36 people. and it just doesn't stop. This is the main staircase. If you don't know where you're going, you get lost. It's like a labyrinth. It looks a little bit, how do you say, tryst, sad outside right now because everything is so gray. We're starting to get into spring season, so things are finally starting to bloom. But right now, it's kind of getting late to go skiing and snowmobiling and snowboarding, but it's also too early for everything to start growing and now we're here on the rooftop which has a giant hot tub TV mini fridge I guess this is a cold plunge if it was full with water. And in four days, on the 8th of April, there will be a solar eclipse. I think over here it's like 75%. So I might be able to capture that. <laughs> 